Hello, hello, my name is Max Wolf. I'm a TA for CS61A for spring 2015. Got a request to do a walkthrough on what would Python print when we put the following line into the interpreter. I'm almost going to do an environment diagram to accompany it. Okay. So, first, when we're doing an environment diagram, we'll draw a global frame. All right. Now, lambdas are tricky. So, what we should do is we should fall back on the stuff that we understand really well. So call expressions are something that we understand well. So every time we see a call expression, we can see this is a call expression because we have a uh, set of parentheses followed by some, some other set of parentheses with some arguments inside. So we can see that we have an operator here and an operand. What we're going to do is we're going to first evaluate our operator, and then we'll evaluate our operand. And then once we've done each of those, we can call the function just like we would for any other function. All right. It's important to recognize here, when we first look at our operator, lambda x is going to simply return, is going to simply evaluate to some function lambda that takes as an argument x. We're not going to look inside of this code until the actual body of the return statement until we call the function. So we've evaluated our operator right here. We have some lambda function that will take an argument x. This is uh, defined in the global frame, so its parent's going to be global. Now we'll evaluate our operand. Our operand is another lambda function, we'll call this lambda2, that takes an argument y. And we won't look inside of our return statement for this yet either. Okay, so now we, we can simply call our operator with our operand as an argument. So our operator is going to create a new frame, create a new frame, f1. It's a lambda frame, its parent is global. It takes as an argument x, so we'll define a local variable x. And the local variable x is going to be assigned to the argument that we pass in, right? The argument that we pass in is some function lambda, lambda 2, takes as an argument y, and has a parent that's global. So our x is going to point up to that uh, function that we pass in as our argument. And now we can read the actual body of the code. So the body of the code says we're going to call x with the argument x. Let's evaluate our operators and our operands. Our operator is x. We look inside our current frame. We find x. It's the function lambda 2. We look inside our x function, uh, our frame again to find our operand. Our operand is x. It's the function uh, lambda 2. Now we can make a new call frame. f2 be lambda 2. We parent global. Now we have a local variable y, which is going to point to the same the same function that we pass in as an argument. We point up here. Now we'll read the inside of the lambda function that we pass in as an argument, which we're also calling. And every time it's going to just return four. Return value is equal to four. So now since this lambda function is going to return the return value of our call to x with the argument x, we've just made that call, which is this call right here. So our return value for this as well is going to be equal to 4. And since we're not binding this to anything in the global frame, we're not going to have any, local, any global variables. And so this is going to be the end of our environment diagram. Okay, great.